Jennifer Griffin here. Um, what I wanted to do today was to um, go through my workout routine. And before I got sick, I used to do yoga. Um, so my body moved completely different than it does now. Um, and after I got sick, I got introduced to the Cooper Center in Dallas, Texas, and my wonderful trainer, Donna Fisher. So she has um, taught me so many things. So I can, um, it actually really helps my balance, you know, it helps your stomach, all the bloody things that it's supposed to do. But as an amputee, it, um, it has really, really helped me. The ironic thing about Pilates is that when I was introduced to it, um, after I got sick, and I got to spend some time with my trainer, um, I learned more about the Pilates world, and Joseph Pilates actually created all of the mat work first, and then during World War I, um, a lot of amputees came from that, and they're laying in the hospital, and people you know, were wondering what you know, Joseph Pilates could do with uh, them. So he takes these springs off their beds and creates all new exercises from that, which is so cool because now that I am doing this, and it's really the core of why this was started. So um, it's pretty neat to know that somebody thought about it, you know, that far back, and I can actually do something with it. So it's some wonders. Okay, so I am on the Cadillac machine, um, which is fabulous, love this thing, but we've had to make a lot of adaptations to this so I can actually use it. So um, we use these wristbands, um, they're Velcro, and I've got them on my legs too so we can attach to things. But as far as doing some sit-ups and doing some ab work, normally people would be hanging from these and they would be at a slant, um, which is very difficult for me to do. So we have moved this, um, obviously put this around my legs, um, and I just hang on and go down. <sighs> feels so good, I love doing this. Okay, this next exercise is a breathing exercise to tighten your glutes, and it really works your stomach as well. Um, normally, everybody would do the same thing, and they'd put their feet where my feet are, as far as the hands go though, they would be pulling on this trapeze type uh, bar, so they they would obviously, you know, they could use their hands to pull on it, since I can't do that, we've got the straps. So, here we go. The other thing to note is when I'm doing this, my prosthetics weigh 12 pounds between the two of them. So the longer I go on my exercises, the heavier my legs get and the stronger the workout is. Okay, now I am on to my side leg kick series. You go up, you go out, you go back and forth. So I'll show you in a minute, but normally people would put their foot inside of this. So they're still using um, the spring but the spring is attached to this, so, oops, sorry. So we have just attached it to my leg. So um, Donna has never dealt with an amputee before. I have never done Pilates before. So we have worked through this process together. She's done a fabulous job. She's really creative. Um, and I really commend her for taking the time out, you know, to really spend with me. And just, you know, she's learning new things and I am too. So this has been, Great. But. Okay, now I'm going to start the uh, the hundreds series. Um, this, and I just learned this, this is actually developed for um, blood flow and oxygen to get to all of the extremities because you're moving lots of parts. What's so strange about that is I actually lost all four of my extremities because I had lack of blood flow and lack of oxygen. So I'm replenishing it into my body going through this. Um, so I just think that's pretty strange. This next exercise that I do, it's always been a favorite of mine. And in talking with Donna about it, I realized that um, even though I haven't perfected this move yet, um, or this exercise, it's a lot similar, it's similar, sorry, to yoga. So it, um, I guess I kind of feel connected to before. So, um, 
It's just one of my favorites, so. I'm getting ready to do the rowing series, and I'll show you that in a second, but I wanted to explain the equipment that I'm actually on. Um, this is called the Grotz, and when I first started doing this, I was on a different machine, which had um, ropes, and it was just built you know, differently. This has leather straps, um, so it's a tighter control, and this is actually more traditional to what Joe Pilates actually created. So our mindset at the beginning was we needed to adapt to me using other things rather than sticking with the traditional equipment. So really what we realized is instead of going, instead of trying to change the equipment so much, if we stick with the traditional and adapt my skill set, uh, we've gotten much farther. So again, in the trainer world, I think I've done well for Donna. So um, we've become a good team. So. Here we go. these exercises too are really good for me is I tend to use my right arm we're all you know right or left dominant you know to begin with but I really really use my right arm so much more than my left um, just because I have more on that side but these use both arms and it's, it's so good so good this exercise obviously is great for the arms and for the back but as I'm doing it and this is usually you know after I've been doing several things my legs tend to go down so you know constantly I have to remind myself and balance the weight of my legs between what I'm doing up top so right now my legs feel really heavy they feel like they want to droop and just kind of sag down and I've to get to get really what I'm doing, I have to, you know, tighten my rear end and pull up my legs. So it's it's a constant, um, constant balance. Okay, so this exercise really works my glutes, the back of my legs, everything. But I want you to know, as I'm doing this, I'm, I feel like I'm on stilts. I feel like every movement, I, I mean, it's balanced more. I mean, I have to literally think and tighten and balance every step of the way. Because my foot, normally someone's foot would be on the edge of this and they could use their toes and they could, you know, to balance themselves. I don't have that. So the control and everything I'm doing is mental and coming from strength in my rear end. I hope me going through this with you guys today um, teaches you something either about Pilates or about um, what still can be done regardless of your disability, regardless of what is going on in your life. Um, again, I have no legs from mid-calf down and I've lost my hands and I, can, and I have picked up every single thing here. Um, thanks to my trainer. But it also comes from that I want to do this and it's been extraordinary for me. So the other thing that I really want to point out is um, most of the amputees that I know or that I've seen, and I don't want to generalize, but you know, the majority have gone into all kinds of sports, not Pilates or not yoga. I mean, you know, for obvious reasons. So there are abilities within this that you can do. Um, there's so many resources now that we've you know, gone through this process together. Um, and I hope you can, can 
find this and pull this into your life. If I can do it, so can you, and you should try something 